All right, guys, so we got to talk about tech censorship again, because just like many of the content creators on YouTube had predicted that this whole tech censorship is not directly all aimed at the right. Now, to be fair, a lot of it actually is aimed at the right. But as me and many others had stated before, eventually there will come a time when this tech censorship will aim right at the Democrats, right at the people who are pushing tech censorship. Now, what am I talking about? I am talking about Tulsi Gabbard being censored on Google. And what had happened was that... Tulsi Gabbard had become the number one most searched Democrat, on Google at least, and she was getting ready to, or she was putting out ads out there, and apparently Google was censoring them. It also was sending her campaign emails to the, to, to the people's spam folders at a, quote, disproportionately high rate. And so Tulsi Gabbard and her campaign are going after Google and are suing Google. And they are going to go ahead and try to get Google to stop its meddling within the election and as well as $50 million worth of damages. Now here is something that I should have said the other day when I made my video about Robert Mueller and him testifying against Trump yet again, the real election probe, the real meddling in the election is not from Russia. It's from these tech firms. It's from, it's from places like Google and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. These are the real culprits of this election meddling because we had confirmed reports not too long ago talking about how Google was officially going to do something within the 2020 election, most likely algorithm manipulation, basically what they are doing to my channel. My channel is being throttled, being put behind everybody else. And this is where Google really messes themselves up because Google, I mean, YouTube is basically forcing everybody who has a YouTube channel to have this new analytics page. It's garbage. I hate it. It's confusing and it just looks, it looks terrible. For those of you who have YouTube channels, you could see the, 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 the new analytics page and it just looks like garbage. But on the new an analytics page, there is a section which I think it's called Reach Viewers. And basically there, YouTube is telling you just how much they're promoting your content. Now, a few months ago, Google or YouTube was promoting my content upwards towards 90%. Basically means that 90% of my views were coming because YouTube was pushing my content out there to the people who wanted to see it, who were searching for it, and in under related videos and so on and so forth. Now, as of today, it's down to 40%. A clear and deliberate cut from when Google was, I mean YouTube, I keep saying Google, but it's YouTube but Google owns YouTube. YouTube is basically throttling my channel, and this is how I believe that they are going to do in 2020. What Google, I mean, Facebook and Twitter, they're, they're basically irrelevant at this point. I don't know anybody in my immediate circle of people who use Facebook. I don't know anybody who uses Facebook, and I recommend if you're on Facebook or Twitter, get off of those sites. Go to minds.com, follow me on Gab, the link, the link to that will be in the description box below, but anyway. That is most likely how Google is going to try to meddle into the election in 2020. They're basically going to take Republican ads against the Democrats, most likely Joe Biden, and they're basically going to censor them. Now, they're go now, this is how Google and YouTube basically gets away with it, because, for instance, me, I am not in, this, in, in the most strictest sense censored because I still have a platform here. My YouTube channel isn't under any strikes, isn't being censored in any way, it's not being banned, but it is being algorithmically demoted. It is being pushed under many, many people, most likely the priority creators like CNN, MSNBC, and so on and so forth, basically shutting out competition amongst the mainstream media. And that is how Google is going to do in 2020. They're basically going to algorithmically 
demote ads or candidates that they do not like. Now, I believe that YouTube, Google, Facebook, and Twitter didn't really do this to the extent that they're gonna do it in 2020 that they did in 2016. And here's the reason for that. Because I believe in 2016, the mainstream media and Google and these tech censorships believe that Trump did not have a chance to win. So instead of algorithmically demoting Trump's content, his speeches, every time he had something to say, you know, every time he said something on Twitter, Twitter didn't really want to demote it. And here's why, because they believed that he didn't, he wasn't going to win. So instead of demoting him, they promoted it. They were like, oh, look at what this fool is saying. And they believe that the more people that listened to him, the more people that was going to dislike him. But that backfired and bit them in the ass because it actually turned out that the more people he reached, the more people actually liked him. But the only problem with demoting Trump's content, his speeches or his debates, his Twitter and stuff like that, the only difference now and then is that he was candidate Trump then. Now he's President Trump. So that's a really big issue if you're gonna censor or algorithmically demote his things. Because like, again, you know, YouTube doesn't censor people, they algorithmically demote them, which is what's happening to me and many other content creators. But here we have Tulsa Gabbard, who is a, you know, Democrat. I think she's from Hawaii. But she was, again, you know, the number one searched person on Google recently, and Google is demoting her. Google is demoting her ads and sending her email, her campaign emails to the, the, the people who signed up for them. Google is basically sending them to the spam folder. And why is Google doing this? You know, Tulsi Gabbard is a Democrat. She's a liberal and she's an anti-Trumper, you know, orange man bad. Why would they want to censor somebody like that for? And it's because it has nothing to do with right versus left. Yes, the people at Google are very far left. Yes, Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey are liberals. But tech censorship has never been about liberal versus conservative. It's always been about the mainstream media versus the alt media. It is the mainstream media and Google and all these other ones who are trying to clamp down on competition. Now, Google is censoring Tulsi Gabbard because uh, she is competition against whoever the Democrats are going to nominate, most likely Joe, uh, Joe Biden. If you have someone like Tulsi Gabbard outranking Joe Biden on the Google search, more people are interested in her than any other Democrat in the field. Yeah, people are going to like her a lot more than they're going to like Joe Biden. And so the rightful thing that Google thought was going to do was going to censor her and demote her and have and direct all of her campaign email followers right to the spam folder. And even though she is a Democrat, I do wish her luck. I would say good luck and I wish you well, Tulsi Gabbard, for going after Google. And basically a high five for that because even she is bringing up tech censorship. And the more people bring it up, not only on the right, but also on, on the left, if more people are talking about tech censorship, both on the right and the left, tech censorship will be defeated. And yes, as of right now, it is only or partially the majority of, of censorship is happening on the right. But eventually that's going to end and it's going to be directed right at the left. And now both sides are going to be getting screwed by these big tech firms. And there will come a time when Steven Crowder and David Pakman are going to join forces against tech censorship. That fusion period will come. You, you will see right wing YouTubers and left wing YouTubers combine their forces and to go head on head against people like CNN and MSNBC because think about competition for a minute. Think about who's the main competitors against CNN. CNN is a leftist news network. Steven Crowder is not a direct competitor of them. Somebody like a David Pakman would be a direct competitor of them since they are essentially reported on the same news and they're basically having the same narrative. The only difference between David Pakman and CNN is that David Pakman actually gets views and CNN is declining in numbers. 
But now we see tech censorship aiming its guns at Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat woman, a Democratic woman of color nonetheless. So that's a really big oopsie on their part. And if they do not smarten up these tech firms, all of these political people, all of these politicians are going to go after them. And then you will see massive investigations eventually. Google, Twitter, Facebook are already under investigation anyway. And that is the real election meddling that we need to investigate. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's about it for this video. Peace out, guys.